Good morning and welcome to Church for Kids Lessons for Living Daily Devotional, a time for you and your family to come together to hear in a brief devotional, have an activity and a prayer time together. My name is Kelly Jackson Brooks and I'm the Executive Pastor with Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I hope all of you had a wonderful weekend, enjoyed the weather. I know it was really hot here in Albuquerque, but we were still able to get out in the evening and have a nice weekend walk and I sure enjoyed that. So I hope all of you had a wonderful weekend. Today we are beginning a new um, series, a new person in our book, The Women of the Bible by Margaret McAllister. It's actually our last female from this book and so we will be getting a new book next week. And our person of interest today found in scripture is Lydia. So we're going to be starting part one today. Let us hear these words. We all went around with purple hands and smelled like rotting fish. That's because we made the world famous purple dye out of shellfish. Shellfish, yes, sea snails. It takes 12,000 snails to produce enough dye for a little bit of purple cloth, just about enough to make a blanket for an emperor's baby. So our dye is very exclusive. Only emperors and the absolute top people are allowed to wear it, which is just as well, because nobody else can afford it. There was money in the cloth trade, and I did well. By the time I moved to Philippi, I wasn't making the dye myself anymore. I was selling the best purple cloth to the Roman Empire. I had good people working for me too, both in the cloth business and in my household. I think it's shameful to earn a lot of money and keep it to yourself. So I paid myself well and looked after them and they looked after me. I had an excellent trade and a really good team. I don't take all the credit for myself, no. I believe that when God gives you a gift, God wants to see you make the most of it. God gave me the gift of being a good businesswoman and I always remembered to thank God for it. When you work with dye, you get to look at color very precisely. You notice every change in the shade and every variation in a pattern. And do you know what that taught me? God loves color. Come sunrise and sunset, God throws out astonishing reds and golds. By day, exquisite blues drift and blend in the sky. Have you seen how many greens there are in a field of grass? I think in color. Peace is pale blue and calm is soft green like reeds and lily pads on quiet water. Bright yellow is joy and reds can be anything from love to joy to death. Take purple, for example. Purple is beautiful. But because the emperors wear it, everyone in the Roman Empire sees it as power and money. Proud purple. Sea snails by the millions, years of experience and hours of work to make one bolt of purple cloth. But look at the work of God, God's extravagance with purple. God grows purple and figs and sages and bilberries. God flings color about. There was a little group of us who used to meet once a week to pray, to think in color. And whenever we could, we prayed at a place by the river with God's blue sky above us and his beautiful world all around us. On one particular Sabbath day, we had company. And I'm gonna leave it there. And we'll start part two tomorrow. And today for our activity, what I want you to do, the activity is actually about drawing and writing things that help you keep an important person in your life, in your thoughts. And what I want you to do for this that you'll find attached today is use a lot of color. I also would like you to go on a walk today and see what color you see in the world. I love this story and how Lydia really talks about color and feelings and people and all of that she sees in color. So think about that today as you're doing this activity, as you're walking and living and experiencing life on this beautiful Monday morning. So with that, let us pray. Creator God, for the color that you give us in our lives, we are grateful. 
for the color that's so clear for the purples, for the blues, for the greens, and the color we see in others. Let us always be aware. Be with us this day and every day. And it is in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And we will see you tomorrow.